Welcome to Head Crack After Hours. It's two dudes, man, who've been in the game for years and it made them animals. But they're about to get unleashed on the country, man. Millennial Tour about to kick off. The Yin Yang Twins are in the house. Yeah, what what's happening? Billy, yo? Man, listen. It is crazy when you look at the tail of the tape because, you know, 2001 seemed like, I don't know, it was like two years ago. Yeah. yeah. Damn near 20 years have passed. Yeah. And Yin Yang Twins is still in activation mode. Dung, dung, Get dung, ready dung, to dung. hit the tour. <laughs> uh, the Millennial Tour with a whole bunch of big names, man. Oh, yeah. And I know, I know people are talking, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The internet been going crazy. Yeah. Everybody talking about it. Like, yeah. Everybody been hitting me um, saying that they been going like, oh, y'all y'all were my college years, so I got to come. Yeah. Man, so. so did you ever think in a million years that like, you know, all this time would go by and people are still interested in hearing the records or the records will still have the same reaction when the DJ dropping in a club? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For me and D-Rock are extremists. We extreme. But the beat come on, we extreme. We ain't gonna, you know, most folks sit around the studio... Try and come up with some. Uh-uh. Come in there with it. Already popping. You got to envision it. If you don't see it, if you don't see it, you can't really say it. Yeah. You got to, if you see her doing it, yeah. that's what made everything that we did just out of the wall. You yeah. could see everything that we said. We weren't saying it from our perspective. It was telling her what to do. Yeah. Right. And we were seeing it when we went to the club. Plus, them beats was like 120, <laughs> 120 BPM, you know, when we, when we got, where we had got the motivation from. Doom, 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 just slow it down. Yeah. And the club, and the club. Yeah. The club, you got to all the motivation now. When you see it, it's like, yeah. oh my God. Now, you, <laughs> now we did we did take the big top, the 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 triple A club. We mm. turned that into the regular club. Yeah. That's yeah. what we did. No, the, the impact that was left on just that whole by, by that whole era. Like when you guys yeah. came out, Lil John was out at the same time, yeah. the side boys was my still cousin. with him. Um, you know, you had uh, Pitbull when he was still kind of like, cousin. he wasn't suits yet. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. he wasn't suits all the way yet. And mm -hmm. like, y'all were really bringing it in the clubs. And like, and it wasn't super duper regional. I mean, it started out regional, but just to see it expand yeah. and become yeah. a nationwide thing. And I think you really realize the impact when I guess it was like, if it wasn't the the BET Awards or the B there was some award <laughs> show where they brought out everybody in Atlanta. That was doing something. Oh yeah, that was, I think that was. Uh, I think that was the Source Award. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Cause we got mm -hmm. uh, rap duo of the year, two thousand three. That went up. Uh, Moni said, "What is hair?" That was she. <laughs> See, that's why you wear protection. That that was that was that. Year, you know, man. Yeah. But and like the thing is, like if people really dig between the surface and look beyond the records, I mean, you guys are like real deal musicians, man. Like, oh, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. you know, you do what you do for the clubs because at the end of the day, this is a business. We want to make money doing what we That's do. It. And, and I watched y'all both step away and kind of do things independently of Yin Yang. We was with the uh, was it the D, uh, uh, the musicians, the musicians, My little brother, yeah, totally different wave than what you were doing with Yin Yang Twins. Yeah, I had yeah. the opportunity to watch you in the studio working, yeah. uh, Kane, and like. Big Tot tunes, totally different. Totally from Lil. Yeah. That's and called, it, we, that's and called, the thing about it, if, if if anybody listen to the whole albums that we do, it ain't all for the women. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, you know, we it's have all for real for music. Yeah. The city. <laughs> the Yin Yang twins, we are Fierce. we are baby generations to one of the Atlanta's most uh notorious groups, the A-Town Hard Boys. Uh, Big D is D-Rock's cousin. I was Royal right. C's uh, protege. He was my mentor. They told us about each other for about two years. For like 14 and 15, D was telling D-Rock about me and Royal C was telling me about D-Rock. And when we turned like 16, I seen him walking from the <laughs> store. It was like, shout it, shout it. Boy, holler at me. Why come here? Everything else is poop. We went to my cousin's house and started writing rap. Yeah. That day. He, that day. He had to turn in his last uh, album to Itch your Bun. I remember that label. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we wrote um, we, the album D-Rock Rock. and the Two Tight Click. Me and D-Rock sat on the, the porch album. and wrote 17 records. He was looking at me like, why you be writing like that? I said, yeah, come on, let's put, play another beat. Play another yep. beat. And, yeah, and you could tell because of the synergy on the records that y'all weren't really phoning it in. Like y'all were physically there yeah. at the you studio working at the same time. To us, you the, can't, the thing about it is, too, is everybody don't understand. We was reading our paper. We yeah. made reading our paper sound like we was just 
fluently yeah. doing it. That's cause we like to read, though. You got <laughs> all these rappers ain't writing them down. How you gonna remember? Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, read. And the crazy part about it is, whistle while you twerk was totally different oh, when we first yeah. recorded it. We, was, we was rapping, rapping. Whistle while you twerk. This is how old some of our raps uh, were before we released them. The verses on I, I, I were on Whistle While You Twerk. I'm trying to figure how that Look at y'all the snap. Out. Make the thing clap. Throw it in the clubs and the door when it's there. They can real fine. Smurf that said, was on. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, Smurf said, no, nah, mm-hmm. y'all, y'all, y'all rapping. Y'all rapping, rapping. We're lighting that thing up. Dumb it down some, a little some, bit. Some, 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 some. And that's some, how it came on. Me and d Rock look at each other like, Man, this stuff ain't gonna sell. <laughs> <laughs> and and show is show never do those thing. Yo, and, and, and that's the tricky part of it all. Cause like, you know, as an artist, as an MC, as a writer, mm-hmm. you wanna show people that you can rap, rap. Oh man. So yeah. then people tell you to dumb it down. And then at one point in time, I mean, I know y'all felt it too. People was trying to make y'all the poster boys for dumbed down music at well, the time. I can accept that, but what you have to give us notoriety on is the fact that we have lyricism. And the people that know, they know. And right. Some and, people don't dig that deep. And even though we dumbed it down, that's what's make um, our um, showmanship last forever. Because the thing about it is, we ain't got to sing nothing. We can just play it, and they going to start singing it for us. We're like, we're like, we're like, the little cousins to Run DMC. My point is, they were from up top. To me, Run DMC is the greatest rap group on the planet, right? Mm-hmm. They were from New York, but when they rap, they sound like they could have been from anywhere. Yeah. They went, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they were, it like that, and that dude, huh. That same energy me and D-Rock you. No, here's one of the things that told me that, like, you know, you guys were definitely about that rapidity rap shit, like on Soul Shaker. Even though the record <laughs> is what it is. Yeah. The yeah. pockets and the flows and the way y'all was coming in and out of that thing. It's yeah. like, yo, these are people who watch people that knew what they were doing and they're playing the game. And then I watched y'all perform live, rip shit down. Like, some oh, yeah. people dial it in. Yeah. And just kind of let the crowd do the whole song, but y'all really put in the work. Mm, they didn't. They wasn't in the studio <laughs> when we called it that. They wasn't in there when we called it that. <laughs> so to repackage this energy and bring it out 2019 for the millennial tour, um, what is the thing you guys are excited about the most? As far as like, just, uh, I um, just, it's about making people feel good when you show up. That's the whole thing, man. Life life has took a turn for some of the same thing we experienced growing up. So now it's just starting over. So now we're being re-implemented into the game again. I think it's because of the fact that everybody feels like us. Now, my perception, uh, perception of it and how I look at it, everybody on this tour we used to work with way back when. And it's like everybody like been hitting me on the ground like, Hey, man, boy, it's been a long time. Boy, it's about to be lit. And I'm like, yeah, it's about to be too lit, that is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and the thing about it is everybody got to come with it. That's why it's going to be so lit. Everybody trying to bring their A game. So it's yeah. like, man, everybody been rehearsing, doing their little thing. I've been rehearsing, too. The only thing I've been listening to the only music. thing I'm saying to myself <laughs> is how did we get on this lineup? It's a bunch of singers. But y'all going to stand that Y'all going to be the unicorn at the horse show? Because, yeah, we're going to take because it. Because y'all like, you know, I came so to take it. with it. It's going to be the B2K and Yin Yang tour. I told you that. Man, so, <laughs> so we're just canceling out everybody No, else no, no, no. That, they, they can do their thing, but okay. you going to yeah. leave saying, boy, did you see Yin Yang? And you came to see B2K, but we're going to stand out. Now, I guarantee you that. Was, I'm, I'm pulling out my A game. I done went and dig. Dig deep, deep, deep to make sure. Oh, now these guys gonna be train, like boxes, getting ready for a tour. Like I mean, are you? I'm the always in training. I ain't gotta be doing them, bro. I wake up at two thirty in the morning, man. I in my head, you went to sleep at four, but okay. Yeah. So, uh-uh. at what time does your day end? By by time <laughs> by time, it don't. Everybody else, twenty four hours is my first forty eight. All right. I, this sounds good on paper, but niggas is having strokes out here. Whole yeah. oh, full not me. strokes. I mean, that's what. Well, I'm a, family, I mean. I'm a family man. I be at home with the wife. Shout out to the wife at that, you know, yeah. and my um boys. So you know, I'm 
I go to sleep. I'm, I'm in bed by 9.30. Yeah, yeah see, see, right. see I'm, I'm still kicking like we see team, man. I ain't, hey, been, life. Listen, hey. I ain't been letting nobody turn me down. Hey, I'm just saying, we we travel. We always on the road. Oh, so yeah. I get enough of the club life on the road. And I can dig it. You know, but that whole dynamic between y'all two, but like, you're this, you're that. Yeah. That's what makes you yeah. Yeah. Like, It's yeah. great. And I would imagine, like, it, it's probably a hard road to travel because y'all music attracts so many women. Like, you know, like... You guys hey, have that. Hey, dead, man. To me, you seen one all on look the same. Come on, pad that. Okay. So you I, 20 years. Come I know. on. 20 years. But yo, some of those and people. Then, and then this guy, he was banging at bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta <laughs> add another 15. You see what I'm saying on D right? You gotta add another 15. We had bang at man. We were in ninth grade. <laughs> It's We're 2020. So, 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 so what do y'all do for like like what do y'all find the fun at on tour now that you're married, now that you've kind of you've had a few laps? Performing. You still you party like that. Like, like, talking, man. Performing. I am a party by myself. Him too. Performing. You, performing is the best part of being on the road. Yeah. Because you get but, to be you and do you. And you know. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't going to take it there, but I'm going to say somebody else once said that, too. Like, he got relief off being on stage. That's what oh, he yeah. felt it's home. It's therapy. At. Well, see, the way my parents groomed me, they, my mom and my dad played music before I was born, man. So by the time I was two years old, the music they were playing, I had already started singing before I started walking. It was kind of innately going to happen because mm -hmm. I love music. Every time we on the stage, get where I be at, in the house dancing with my mama. When I didn't know how to dance, when I had two left feet. Yes. Yeah. So I, I when when we on the stage, bro, I don't be there. I be in the house. See, where we from? We from Atlanta. I'm from Capitol Hill. He from Inglewood. My family on the west side, Dixon Hill. The bluff, you know. I be but in the crowd. On the weekend, on the weekend, man. I'm talking about before we had money. <laughs> on the weekend, the only thing I was used to was my family coming over to my house. Cause my dad had a, a concert amp in our apartment with some PV15, bro. We had the loudest system in the project. You turn our music on, you can hear that drum for three blocks up the street. And nobody complained. No. Now I be now personally, I be in the crowd. I'm eyeballing everybody. Cause you always find that one person that just don't like the show. They like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's but like, they're why lying. Why did you come though? But it's like they're lying because they paid. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> so just, you, you keep your eye on that person and all them people that's not there to see the show, so to speak, how they looking. And a couple of other songs, they be just like that. Yeah, pick it up, pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> soon, as, soon as they stone come on, they start doing see, like this. But like, you got to remember, all that hardness went out the you window. You got to remember, they, you got to remember, D Rock, when we first came out with Whistle While You Twerk, all one, the men they won't bob their head or nothing. They just standing there. All the men felt like we told on where we used to go hang when you got into it with your girl. Think about it. When Whistle White Twerk came out, girls went loose like they were 16 and, you know, we were 21. But so so the part where he talking about when they be mean mugging, they didn't like to be there, but their girl <laughs> wanted to go there. So when the song first time on... You uh, think about on, with Some of them were by themselves and they came because they knew the girls were going to be humbug. Smart play. Talk about Pippin. So let's, let's talk about the revolutionariness of y'all for a second, man. Like, and, and you can stop me if I can't tell this story. You told me a story in the studio one time where like Jive really wanted y'all to do some sucker shit at one point in time. And you were like, nah, I ain't doing that. And y'all felt like it kind of, you felt like it kind of changed the trajectory of where things went from that point on. It was they always want us to do what, you know, all labels, and this is why I think they're bad businessmen. They always want you to do what they think they know how to tell you what to do just because they start they started it. But some people have this stuff on the inside of them before you learn how to create something. So sometimes you got to just take the ride. Yeah, it's your company, but if you're not good at, what you're selling, you need to find somebody that good at selling this stuff. Who else is going to go bottom told, side if up? If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. What well, I don't even think we're talking about the same things. If my memory serves me correctly, you tell me a story about it. So Britney Spears was like the hottest thing on Jive at one point. Oh, yeah. And they wanted to put y'all like on the Slave For You remix and then just 
like have it just seemed like real like coony what they wanted you to do. I mean, and you was like hell nah. I mean that that part. Only thing I remember about that is she didn't really want to be close to us when we had performed with her live. Oh, okay, she did us. She, I hate to say it, <laughs> but I'm gonna tell the truth. Uh uh, Steve Lunt said, "Get up on Britney while you're performing." D Rock went to get up close to her, but she stumbled like, "Get this nigga away from me!" On some racist, real talk. Right. And I, I said, D Rock, see. When you start doing that right there, trying to play with her like we retarded man, and all that deal with this and that. See, that's the difference with the yin yang twin. We real and without I, you. I, I looked at it. That just showed great talent. You know, even for them to want us on her yeah, project. I get that. You know, that's she didn't how I want was, us to be beside you know, her. But I always looked at it like yin yang twins and Britney. It, 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 it's it, one of the things that could have like either been like, oh, they sold out, or it could have put it you in a different space. It, we never well, sold out. I, I, I'm gonna tell we you, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this right here. Considering her history, we didn't sell out. No, it was like, oh, okay, you you know how Britney was before mm -hmm. we even y'all would have been in. throwing her life <laughs> at that time. Y'all yeah. the record. Cause hey. that was the hottest shit smoking. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> but man, but you know, I, I'm I'm glad y'all you know like took a hands off approach and be like, you know what? Now nah, we good on that. And and because like some people would have was so thirsty that they would have kept. There's a lot of yeah. people think that me and D Rock are literally retarded, man. Mm -hmm. We have kids, man. I'm ignorant. This is our this is our us having fun. <laughs> where somebody will <else> think. <laughs> They, them, they clown. Them niggas goofy. Okay, but what we doing got us where you want to be at. Yeah. So your goof ain't a goof. It's the truth. Yeah. Some people just, like, like I remember we was on the road with Lil Flip one time. Yeah. And he said, I kicked it in Atlanta for two weeks. Yeah. He said, you know what I know? We yeah. He said, everybody that don't got a deal that's from Atlanta, they act just like Y'all, I said we the truth. See, yo, <laughs> your favorite, people's favorite, other Atlanta artists are here. I ain't going to call no name, but I can guarantee you your favorite rapper from Atlanta don't like the Yin Yang Twin. Why do you think that is? Because we hold weight. Because we, yeah, we hold weight. We always been to ourselves. We got our own lane. You know, people I like to, people like that. to, people like to, you know what it is? I'm going to tell you what my homeboy told me. Homeboy said, shout it. You've been the truth since you was a kid. People don't like the truth, and they don't like a winner. Yeah, but you got to respect it. <laughs> if I ain't never stepped on your toes, <laughs> what are you talking about? Right. Hey, man, about. me and me, see, see look. So a lot of folks, D-Rock, East Side, on, my family moved on the East Side in 75, right? But the true essence of my family is West Side. I ain't got to deal with you if D-Rock don't like you, man. I ain't got to move. I'm a gangster. I talk and play, yeah, but all that shimmy, shimmy, cuckoo -coo kicking. You hit the switch real quick. Yeah, quick. man, get out my face, bro. What about blue? Yeah, man, you better get out my face. You know, you everybody smoke. don't understand real Atlanta. And when you understand real Atlanta, it's like yeah. two personalities. You yeah. got that Southern hospitality, yeah. and you got that don't F with me. See, and yeah. I think yeah. most of the time people <laughs> see the southern hospitality aspect and get it, of it twisted. But they don't really see. No, nah, they just think we goofy, dog. They get it we twisted. talk. Let me tell you something. Why should we be standing around tonight? Yes, yeah, sir. You know what I'm saying. Our music projects fun. Mm -hmm. So why would we come around and our characteristics don't project fun? Give a damn what you think. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Thinking like singing if you ain't gonna drink. Thinking <laughs> like singing. If you ain't gonna drink, you're gonna have to swallow all the water. <laughs> I'm gonna write all that down and analyze it later. But, but yeah, I have noticed that, like, yeah, like, you guys don't really have no particular affiliation. So self contained. And, like, there's certain people who have managed to craft the type of songs, and no matter what year it is, no matter where you are, no matter if you're white, black, Puerto Rican, Dominican, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Laos. They rock with the, they'll rock with the, like, people could play It Takes Two by Rob Bass, DZ, DJ Easy well, Rock. It feel good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People can play. It's timeless. You know, Rest in peace, DJ like, Easy Rock. Bam, it's timeless. Bam, it's, 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 That's it. It's a way that you can make music timeless, and then you, it's a way that you could just make a hit. Like, mm -hmm. all right, oh, I remember that song. Or it's still being played because the kids remember my parents playing it. 
So they take it and they plan it. They kids. Yeah. They, you see what I'm now saying? That's it's, a trip. It's, it's going, it's going down and down and down. The college just is like the same way as 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 Michael Jackson is the way they're trying to throw him under the bus right now, but he was forever. Mm -hmm. Like you still got kids to this day still doing the Michael Jackson. Well, you, you, you gotta to remember okay. this. Every time we die out, they gonna throw us under the bus. It ain't just us. They did Elvis, they do everybody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. They 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 the the the, the, the um the the their their uh their enterprising is set up on our demising. That. <laughs> Just saying. Chick. No, it's true. Like, like, like we yeah. as black people, no, I mean, not only we catch it a lot, but we mm -hmm. had a hard ass February. And that was supposed oh, to be yeah. our month. So oh, yeah. she could have waited. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, like, we had hey. a hard February. Yeah. You know what you think? I don't really see a time that no place in the South was ever not in a recession. Think about it. I'm talking about go all the way back to when you were little. This stuff in the same routine, man. They ain't switching that. See, not, well, well, not well, being not, from not, here, not, not, I can't 100% identify. Okay, okay but see what he's saying. When he's saying it, it's, been a, it. it's been a hard February. It's like, all right, it's Black History Month, but they throwing blacks up under the bus for the most part. Right. Like they trying to counter block you. I mean, the from R. Black Kelly thing is the R. Kelly thing. Oh, that, that's something different. To you know, be that's that's, about that's different. the weird uncle that, like, you know, like they'd be like, "Hey, man, like when you leave, be sure you take the kids with you." That's like, that's that, and people knew what that was. That's the weird was. uncle. Jesse Smollett. Hey, thing, stay away from him. That is a weird story within itself. Come here, come here, y'all. Come on. Why did he go that route? Here's 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 my assessment of it. I think because. You know how the PR game work, mm -hmm. right? Okay, cool. Let's we have, don't. Let's, let's have, let's have, <laughs> we didn't have to do that. <laughs> exactly. Don't the, nobody but, else have to do that. No, people you, do it all the time. Whether they you don't realize have it or not. to. But That's they like, shouldn't they, have to. They, they, no, yeah, they shouldn't yeah. have to. True. No, they don't have to, man. Because there's a lot of you, dope you, artists you, that, that, whose music uh, don't get uh, heard uh, just on this, the general principle of being dope. You need some extra spices to go along with it. Bro. I get hey, that. Hey, and, 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 and that's what it is. Because if you really look at it, if you ain't going to jail, you ain't got shot, you ain't did nothing think, ignorant, ain't nobody see, that's checking a, for that's you. A, that's and all, they always be the underdog. That still goes Other than that, you have your couple of them. You have your Kendrick Lamar, your J. Coles. You have a couple yeah, of them out there. Dudes, that, that, that's still like the oomph to rapping to me. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. But, you, Cole, but, but everybody Lamar, can't get that spot. All they're trying saying? to find something new. All these young kids making songs where they're literally talking dumb. I, I must say this about but the us. Thing about we it are is, the forefathers to the stupid rap today. It may not be the tempo we had, but they're literally talking stupid where we were making songs sound stupid by using a melody, mm -hmm. right? Now they're literally rapping stupid using Lil Wayne's old cadence. Well, now it's called um, it contemporary It hasn't R &B. been broken. They done gave it a, a lane now. I feel all that. Some of it don't even like it. I feel all that. But let me tell you something, man. It's a room where you go in where stuff don't and make And really, T-Pain started it. What's happening is- T-Pain started it. People are- People are T Pain started it. People are using shout out to T Pain. People take their whole entourage the with them so they can have their crowd when they get somewhere. T Pain Instead started of going out there and trying your own spirit. And yeah, T Pain so got everybody got, think see, they can sing. It, here, all check this, this auto -tune, out. Yeah, auto tune. He we, introduced auto tune and everybody started singing. Once we singing. come off of this Millennium tour, anybody wants to sign with the Yin Yang Twins, you will get the same exposure that we have got outside of where people may think we have 16 platinum number one singles. Clap that up. 16 <laughs> platinum. <laughs> We the 16 times, just like Rick Flair. Woo! Limousine <laughs> driving, sky diving, shit popping, show stopping, son of a gun. Help! <laughs> I love this shit. Got a yeah, limo yeah, outside of yeah. Malone. Y'all need to come through more often. All right, so, Ying Yang Twins, I always hear y'all over the up-tempo stuff. How does Ying Yang Twins sound over the current production that everybody? That's uses nothing. Let me tell you something. Those beats are a... a, are a Combination of what we grew up in. Those beats are gangster, club, and uh, eurythmic. Those, those eurythmic, beats. like the yeah. sweet dreams and made it. Yeah, I'm talking about the, like the, the, temp, the, the, the tempo, <laughs> the crossover. Those beats are gangster, club, and crossover, man. Like that, right? Those are the. 
Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Right you, uh, you those are, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, yeah. Are, those, yeah. Are, those are the, those are the, those are the three like genres of music. Now, the, you know what's going on with the music now? What's they that? got three beats in one. Some of it sounds so the same, man. Like you know, like I was because they don't have anyone to follow. Everybody just following. Ain't nobody leading. It's like lemmings. Yeah. They play that game back in the computer. Computer class. I'm not computer savvy. <laughs> I'm dumb. Nah, but you guys listen, are wildly intelligent, man. Listen, I knew it. Not to that though. <laughs> no, he don't. Him don't like computers. Yeah. Okay. That's 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 the yin and the yang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, oh, yeah. I, I, I mess with the computer. Guy. Guy. I'm a conspiracy theorist. <clears throat> I am too. Right. Hey, that's, that's man. Right. So, hey, man. Even we got on the thing about the um, you know, about like people are running out of interesting things to do for people. That's why the, the Yin Yang twins work. have been put yeah. back on this tour. And not for nothing. We got a new album. Yin Yang Twin Next Generation. Batteries not included. When is it dropping? This summer. Okay. We're gonna drop y'all a single this summer. I'm looking forward to it, man. It's, it's, I'm t we boy. I'm, I'm running with whole weight right now. While we on this Millennium tour, I'm running with whole weight. That's the the, the song. Yeah. yeah. So y'all gonna be sing. breaking out the new single yeah. during yeah. the tour. Yeah. Yep. Man, I'm, I'm definitely. But the album, let me tell you something, man. Double CD, man. We smash. Now, Cause it been a minute. Is it double CD in the sense where like yo you? No, hit this with it's like two whole CDs with some visuals of what we've been doing while we ain't been out. Okay. Now. Typically, you haven't seen people actually like come out with actual CDs in a minute. Yeah, they don't hold weight. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually gonna press it up as two CDs? Listen, man, the Yin Yang Twins, just like people are running to this Millennium Tour, they're gonna run to the store and buy CDs again. I hear people say, the CDs are obsolete. No, I hear the digital stuff scratching just like a compact disc. This stuff ain't what you think. Well, hey, I'm man, screaming. you give, you give people a chance. Screams. You give people a chance, they'll do the same thing I'm, they I'm, did. I'm they just rename it. My thing is, if Strings. the RIAA ain't count your record, Strings. it ain't certified where you're going to get no gold or platinum plaque. I'm oh. cool with them sales, but if it's not under the RIAA, it's not a certified platinum, gold, or whatever may have you. I'm screaming like the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Stream online. You know, my only beef about streaming, right, is just the second someone decides that your album doesn't exist online anymore, it doesn't. They can they just like, like that. They can make your album not be available online anymore. Yeah, that, That's hap why I like that happened to vinyl. Things. That happened to vinyl, yeah. but it didn't because real DJs still DJ, DJ in the club it. with records. Yeah, they're like you got it. You got it. Them left. Yeah. I'm just saying. Um, I mean, with the young going, folks going, always yeah, trying. Yeah. To, I'm yeah. with him too with the CDs, mm. but I'm I'm with the streams too. Yeah, CDs. streaming. It's all inclusive, yeah. exclusive. Streaming. All in, <laughs> all inclusive, <laughs> exclusive, man. That's what they call it. All everybody, inclusive. Everybody exclusive. got a phone. You see what I'm saying? And I, I, like, I got everybody album because I got um Apple Music. Yeah. So it's like, hey, you got to meet them on a level. Hey, I mean, like, you, streaming. You, I like to fight against the machine too, like John Henry. But sometimes, I mean, it's like, uh, you can yeah. do it. Listen, hey. But, Check this out. That's just like I hear people say the music game ain't the same. Listen, man. If you go to the studio and you put your heart into what you're doing like we did when we were rocking, there's no way you're going to tell me you couldn't get people to feel you. I'm not going for that. You can't sell me the low self-esteem stream. I ain't talking about stream. Yeah, I'm but... talking about people sitting up... My, <laughs> Yeah, I'm a parent. Tell my child, you ain't gonna be there. My child goes to school. My dad said, I ain't gonna be there. Shut your ass up. That should motivate you to go harder. Right. It did. That's the era we're from. It ain't like that the these new days. Kids, yeah, everybody's so you, soft. You, you and say kids, that, and they gonna take it. it. They gonna take it serious. Yeah. yeah. And see, that's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The thinking cap. The <laughs> thinking cap this. ain't nothing but a hat rack and a hair do shack. People, thing people, about it, um, people not using their brain. The human the brain. The television have really just got everybody thinking that everything happened easy. Because everything is reality oh, TV now. They, 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 no, no, no. It's like, but everything reality they, they TV themselves. now. It's like, you don't have like regular shows. You got everything in that show. I got this. I got this. I got this. So if you ain't got it, you ain't nothing. That's how kids think. Oh, if I don't have it, I ain't, I, I ain't the man. I got to have them... them them Jordans, when they first come out, oh, I got to have that Gucci belt. I got to have that Gucci bag. Man, no, you don't yeah. got to have nothing. We were somewhere. What you need to do is get an education. <laughs> <laughs> listen, they about to drag y'all away. New album in the summer. Yeah. Ah. 
<laughs> tour get ready to pop off. Yeah. yeah. Before we run, I want to play this game with y'all real quick. I figure you guys okay, may okay. be the best that ever do this. Mm -hmm. The game is called Same Damn Time. I'm going to ask y'all a question. You both got to answer at the same damn time. Uh, y'all are the yin yang twins. Y'all are literally <laughs> who I made this game for. <laughs> All right. Some people have done well, like the cast of the movie Superfly. Uh, they did really good. Okay. Let's see how yin yang twins does. All right, cool. Uh, between the two of you guys, who have done the most drugs? Me. Both of us. Yeah. So Kane says himself, y'all both agree to both of y'all. Yeah. Well, he done more than me. We'll yeah. let him have it. I started a little early. Yeah. My, mama, my mama slapped me with a broomstick the other day. <laughs> what, what was the first thing that drew you in? What, my, huh? what was the first drug? My first you? drug. Cocaine. Really? And that coach is back I in was, I was, again. I was, I was 12. Now, like, at 12 years old, what prompted you to want to do cocaine? My homeboy then was smoking weed. I knew my mom would have beat the skin off my ass. And she smelt weed on me. So I was I was always outside. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So And I went in the, the house the, high. The tip the, the I smelled the like tip weed. Was doing that I was one of those it was being blowing. Your, having your adrenaline up. <laughs> right. So I'm a hype head. Uh-huh. I got hypertension. So when I wake up, even if we like 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 even when we're not performing, man, I'm turned up like a concert. But are you still doing go game now? No, nah, man. What made you stop? Had to. Yeah. Kids, you know, wasting your you time. At yeah. some point, you know, yeah, yeah at wasting some point, your you time. Say, okay. The your children. <laughs> you don't. The number one thing about that drug is you don't want nobody to see you unless it's anybody that's on the same thing you on. Right. Nobody. There's, you a, there's a community. There's a communal yeah. activity to it because y'all both trying and, to like hide it. You know. Yeah. yeah. After you go to the blow. Ooh, that ah. the west, see that the <laughs> west side, man. Better leave you fucking fool. That would the bluff me. <laughs> all right, somebody else. It's say not that. safe over there at all. My whole family from over there. First time when I first moved here, like the person, like you know, like was showing me houses. They took me over to the bluff. I'm like, oh, hey, I have a little bit more money than this. Like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> like, Are you serious? Like, dogs walking themselves and shit. Now she's like, no, this is on the way to where we're going. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw the dog walking. They that's film. it. Like, man, that's just yeah. crazy. But I'm glad you like survived that wave. Oh not yeah, everybody man. Survived the drug a... wave. So that yeah. is an interesting life. I, mean... like, I didn't want to smell. Like drugs when I walked in the house, so yeah. I smelled the drugs. Plus, itself. it don't last. It don't last but two or three minutes. You extenuated sitting there wanting to keep holding on to it. You ever tried DMT? I walked no, in the house sir. eating up everything. Yeah, that's. And I, same, I did it the same opposite. weight the whole time. Uh -huh. Like you always been the same size. What do you get ready to wrap us up? So let me run through the rest of these questions <laughs> real quick. Um, what is your favorite strip club in the world? Magic City. Magic City. That's the A town. Strip it club. Was, as but, big as everybody always made it seem, when I first went to go there, I was no, like, this is small. This hey, is why it's the hey. greatest club. It's in the hey, city of but, Atlanta. But and the women over there but, show you how to but use if, your money if, when they come out of there. But but everybody but if we talking about old clubs too, mm -hmm. I gotta throw Nikki in there. Nikki? Club Nikki. Club yeah, Nikki. we we used to tell Nikki's up. My and we weren't even old enough to get in. Phase one and two. Nikki, I always think about that a lot. First strip club I went to was like the gentleman's club back in the day. They were doing five dollar lap dances before like seven o'clock. Yeah. Now granted, I am eighteen years old, never been in Atlanta. This is my first like introduction to the strip club society. Mm -hmm. This chick gave me a lap dance like she was going to lose everything she had if like you know this dance didn't go well. Oh. And then when I leave there, I'm like, wow, strip clubs are great. I'm gonna go to strip clubs all the time. The next club I went to was like in Dallas. It was trash. <laughs> they had the pasties on their nipples. Man, I wanted to shoot the place up. Hey. What is the last thing y'all two fought about? Everything. Yeah. Everything um, is a yin yang. Have y'all ever broke up? Nah. Uh uh. Good. <laughs> we Don't fight. We up. fight. Well, you know. Yes, we fine. argue, mm. but that's what a good marriage do. Yeah. You figure it out. Yeah. You work through your situation. We we had we are together. not getting a divorce. Well, where my ring, Rock? <laughs> You left it at home because we were arguing. <laughs> the ring is the arenas, and yo, Yin Yang Twins is going to be all up in there for the millennial tour. If people ain't following y'all, where do they go? The real ATL Yin Yang Twins on Instagram. And if you want to catch us on Snapchat, Yin Yang Twins. And everywhere else, Yin Yang Twins. You know, Facebook got a thousand of us. Oh, you right. just got to find the right one that got this yeah. face on it. Needle in the haystack, <laughs> see you when you get back. Yeah, we got to, like, sue the rest of them and get them out of here, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's the Yin Yang Twins. Y'all yeah. D-Rock and King. Hey, I got the hours out. Huh? <laughs>